Hello, and ah! Welcome back to more Talk to Noku Cross. Uh, talk to uh, welcome back to more of this game whose name I do not remember. I just know it's Talk to Noku versus Capcom. That's what I can't. That's what I'm gonna call it. As far as like the cross generation All Stars crap, that's a lot to take in. That's worse than Super Smash Bros. for Wii U. It's a whole lot of yikes. Because I was going, I was facing the wrong direction. Yeah. So in the last episode, I was telling you, I was telling everybody about how like I wasn't telling you about it. I was trying to talk, more or less talking about the whole Cat Williams versus the 15-year-old deal. Shit. Alright, 12 wins might be as far as I can go. Ugh, I'm I'm trying not to lose this match. Give me a second. <laughs> really? Fuck out of here. I don't know if that damages me or not. That one. Fuck. Lord have mercy! I did not think I was gonna pull that out of there. Jeez! So yeah, in the last episode I talked about how Cat Williams got into that altercation with the 15 year olds. That sounded way more professional than the entire last episode. Um, now, mm, a lot of people probably, it, yeah, I think this is really split down the middle. I'm pretty sure there's a, a nice amount of people who really feel like he had everything, the 15 year old had everything he had coming to him, which is clearly going to be the unpopular opinion. And I'm pretty sure there are a lot of people who uh, uh, feel like Cat Williams should have never in, you know, a, in any circumstance uh, a, attacked a child like that. But at this point, you know, at fi mind you, at 15 years old, he's still a minor. But I don't necessarily know. Like I, again, like for me personally, I feel like he he did the right, cat did the right thing. Like, cause I uh, I know a lot of people already think I'm like really disrespectful, like as a human being in general. But I'm I, I'm a strong believer in giving somebody what they what they're asking you to give them. If someone's being an asshole to you, no matter their age, age, race, uh, religion, no matter who they are as a human being, if they bleed blood like you do, then you give them what they are asking you to give them. You do unto, my nigga. Do unto. And if, and if you don't like the idea of that, then you should always consider being a decent, decent person to people. It, it does. It, it's easier to be nice than to be well. I guess it's, it's, as far as I'm concerned, like, conscious-wise, it's easier to be nice than it is to be mean, especially when it's unsolicited. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Get out of here. Okay. Beautiful joke of a game I have not, I have I never finished. Oh. 
I'm shot. I, I just I just got a very <laughs> It was like yeah, it, you have to give people what they what they're asking you to give them. To try to be nice to somebody who clearly has no respect for you at all. At the end of the day, like if you can live with yourself, then by all means, fine. But if you can't, then I was like, how is that re even reflecting? Um, and I think that kid was asking to be hit in the mouth. Like whether it whether it was from like a parent or somebody else in the community, like if it was if if Cat was a nobody, then it wouldn't nobody would know. I mean, I'm pretty sure that like in some in somewhere people would look at it like, oh well, adult attacks, you know, minor. That's I don't I don't a part of me want to I want to say this and I know it ain't right, but a part of me feels like that don't count when you know you and the minor are the same height. If a dude, if a if a twelve year old is six foot five, and is you know, and he, who can easily look down on me, which is literally a foot taller than I, wait, that's not a foot, but like damn near a foot taller than I, then if he gets loud and I punch him in the gut, I don't necessarily, I'm not gonna feel bad. Now I'm about to get loud. I mean, like if he gets like to the point where he's threatening violence on me or making me feel like. I'm in danger, and you know, if I stick him, that's, yo, that's on you, son. You give a damn that you're 12 years old. You should've thought about that before you got, before you got, <laughs> before you put yourself in the position you get hit in the mouth. Now, mind you, I'm not just saying this for, uh, for, for children. I, you know, I'd say the same thing goes for females. Like, there are plenty of, uh, there's plenty of footage up there on the internet of, like, teenage, black teenage girls mostly getting loud with some, Ooh. Getting loud with some dude and ended up in uh, ended up getting worked. Like the there was the what the, the situation with the bus driver and there's the situation with the dude on the uh, on the bus with the coat on the train with the coat. There's that. I mean, it the same the same rules apply. These are two these are two uh, se different sex sex sectors of people who uh, like the majority of people feel like have have like this you can't be violent with them uh, rule attached to them and I completely and utterly disagree now, to just, now if you go my mind you if you go around hitting kids because you like to hit kids and you're an asshole if you go around beating on women because it brings you joy if you're not getting given uh, express written consent then yeah you're an idiot like it's not necessarily but at the same time if any human puts their hands on you somebody mind you somebody who you feel like should have well, the majority would feel has like <laughs> the mental capacity to know better meaning they know they're not supposed well, to just walk it. up and hit people it's like yeah Fire. knock them out knock them the fuck out <laughs> like straight up in the back of time in the back of time for that and like again I, I blame his mom for that like what you see, what, what, how you see somebody act outside, outside of their home, is usually a representation of what they were taught as a kid, or what they were taught growing up. Now, mind you, that might not necessarily be his mom's issue. It might be, uh, you know, an issue in his community, because the whole like, what you gonna do, or what you gonna do, what you gonna do type shit. Yeah, that's heavy in the black community. That, man, that happened a lot when I was growing up. Like that, man, get out of my face. What do? What am I gonna do? If you, what you gonna do if I don't? What you gonna do if I don't, huh? What you gonna do? You like, make your hands on my face, dude. Like, what you gonna do if I don't? Like, that shit? That shit? That's the type of shit to get you beat up. Got him. And, and you, and the person who hits you will be totally in their right to punch your teeth so far down your throat, you, you know, shitting out dentures. That's, that's your fault. Like, you, you were disrespectful. You were, you were, you were infringing upon the, the liberties of somebody else to have a stress-free day. Like everybody has that right to go to go outside, you know, and be in the public without uh, feeling like they they have to defend themselves or they you know feeling like they you know they have the right to not be antagonized by somebody else. And if you fuck with that, then do all me. You do. Get your ass beat. Nah, no, nah, no, I really feel like that dude's mom owes cat an apology, you know, for the way that his hurt. My mind you, I'm, I assume, for whatever reason, I guess it's because he's black, I assume that 
his dad isn't the one in the picture? I know that's probably fucked up. Oh, it's a little fucked up that I think just because he's black, his dad isn't the one in the picture. It's his mom. But that's what I've been saying since uh, I saw this. I was like, yeah, his mom is at fault for that. But I guess I should say his parent is a parental figure. Because it could easily be a grandparent, or it could be his mom, could be his dad, could be his aunts. I don't fucking know. Hell, it could be his big cousins for all I know. But whoever teaching that kid ain't teaching him right. And I think, like, the fact that he just got hit in the mouth, he got off real lucky. A lot of people should really look at that as, a, um, as like, a life lesson. It's like, think about what you teach your kids, man, before you sending them out there into the world. And they just out there with all this reckless abandon, like, thinking that they're untouchable, man. You ain't touchable, bro. You are very, you are very, very un not untouchable. Just <laughs> make sure you touch a while ago, which is not what I said a few seconds ago. Oh so yeah, man. If you, yeah, if you saw it, if you see it, mostly it's annoying. It's annoying to me that people are out there like posting like just the the, 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 the clip of him punching that kid in the face or pushing his face or whatever. Like, cause that's why that's, that's what's going. That's what people are going to see every time they uh think about Cat Williams. And I was like, oh yeah, that's that dude. That he, you know. So he attacked that fuck. Yeah, that kid, that kid, what? Got you. Well, that does a lot of damage. Mind you, it's a super. I know it's a. Yeah. I was like, I understand how it works. Uh, I throw those bombs out a lot because it's second nature. It's nature to uh, quarter circle. Shit. Oh, good stuff. Wish I had had the wherewithal to do it. Zarva hit the mic there. Hit the mic. Sorry about that. Ugh. Yeah. At the end of the day, the lesson here is like, seriously, teach your kids better, man. For the love of God, teach your children better. If not for their, you know, if not for the for the good of society, because like, you know, when you go out the house, I want you to represent, you know, the family in a, in a manner that's uh, respectable. But people are crazy. I mean, odds are, some of everybody has come into contact. If you go, if you're out in the public on a regular basis. Odds are you probably come in, come into contact with somebody who's itching to blow, like just 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 looking for somebody to give them a reason. Got him. <laughs> Hemmed up in that damn corner. He blocked all of it? Lucky trick. Lucky given the fact that you, you blocked it, but Lord have mercy, you ain't got nobody to tag out to. All right, y'all, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and call it here. Uh, if you like what you saw, throw me a subscribe. But, yeah, I'm out of here, y'all. Peace.